drenched again. Rain like this would fetch a fortune in Zerikane. <laughs> Like rain. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered, thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs in the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments, Lately, they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course! But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Dean. What do you expect in this climate? Oh, dear, you hit the same <laughs> oh, 
I didn't say nothing. So you are the ones. Oh, right, fat so. Look who we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted the Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, they play a different tune then. Every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. And don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Ah! Ah! There you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, Performances bring in much coin. Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course, we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Hm. Thanks. Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? 
I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Role's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. All right, we've got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan. What are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you're going to wear hose and a godpiece. Come, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen. Most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear.
My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months I held back my loins, heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> oh, darling. I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. <gasps> Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades. Fear a Doppler? Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed, beast or man, she loves him truly, without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. Show love for Dopplers, as well as for fish. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor, scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the temple guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? Contact them. I came to a few performances, different shape each time, but I dared not show myself. Feared I'd put them at risk. 
Then I got word of a new mummy. Saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapour. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Hold on, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full run last by now. Do, do, do to me favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. You could double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No, once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. Not bad, not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Poor wretches with 
Greetings. The truth is, we're already dependent on the great ones. Economically. Let us live, eh? Just look at the freak. Don't know who you're looking for. But you won't I wish you it. luck. You'll need it. <coughs> well, well, another freak. <laughs> oh. God, God! Place a sword in the scabbard. Ah. Naked! Never let your kind in, no be grand proper. Things like war. Never know what you've done for. Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And. You know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? This ambush is simpler, because Menge was already planning to move Dandelion to Oxenfurt. Dudu just needs to confirm an order everyone knew Menge was planning to give. If he released Dandelion, he'd need to explain why. Probably raise suspicions in the process. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! To watch the rains in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Even go. Let us stay. Look at her, all weepy eyed. Like my mudsy when his guts knotted up. 
Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right. You know the basics. That's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Girls, go after him. Leave these here to us. Shit, lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Road through here. That's it, Roach. Prints are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. started limping. What is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out for we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. Aye. Jabbering the whole time. Hmm. Dandelion. So, Hunter's barricaded himself inside. There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this Hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here. The key. The cellar door around the back. Thanks.
How can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could ring your neck like a flat end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lie, like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or well, I'm not Julian Alfred Tank Rats by Count to let me hold. Right now, kill more. Everybody kills you, dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed identity. Can't expect me to reveal my full title to every goitered idiot I run across. Now, if you've made a wise choice, very wise, might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet! Fuck me, yes. What? No, 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 you see. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the wild hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. for the 
What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story. But I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. That all you care about? The ballads this will inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Orson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Ruven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Dorn Ep Tenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Hmm. The curse invokes ugliness. My entire life, don't think I've seen anyone uglier than... Stunning Gemma? No. A certain deformed midget who appeared out of the blue on the shores of Hindersfjall. And now wanders around the Baron's castle. Ugh, you and Siri, Like two water droplets. Never know what either of you are talking about. Siri ever mention him? Some deformed midget? No, didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm, she came here from Valen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. 
Maybe she went back. Maybe. Besides, the curse might have had something to do with Uma. I should collect him from the Baron. Uma? The, uh, deformed midget? What will you do with him? First, lift the curse. Maybe I can get some help at Kaer Morin. After that, who knows? You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at when you're done. Let's get back to the rosemary and thyme. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I've owed. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. <laughs>